saw your cousin here to fake twenty dollar bill around a little bit there. Well, that's buddy. Oh, is that buddy? <laughs> uh, can I have a couple more? <laughs> but I, I just want to tell y'all what I did. A cool thing I did to my niece and nephew over the holidays. I play this little game with my nephew where I I'll put a coin in my hand, and if he guesses which which coin it is, he wins it. So I kind of let him see see me slip one of those into my hand, and he's like, "Oh man, this is my lucky day." So, you know, I go, okay, what is it? He says, it's a $20 bill. I said, yeah. And he grabs it out of my hand, shoves it in his pocket, man. He thinks it's his lucky day. And my niece sees that, and she says, I want to turn too. I said, okay. I had to have an extra, happen to have an extra one. So, yeah, I let her see me put it in. She says, that's a $20 bill, man. She grabs it out of my hand, puts it in her pocket. Neither one of them opened it up to see that it was fake. And they were about to leave my house thinking that they just won $40. <laughs> and I said, so, so how'd you do? And they opened that up there. I, I think I ruined the holiday. You felt, you felt so bad you went ahead and gave them a real $20 bill. Show, show America what the $20 bill really is. It's, it's really, on the inside, is uh, we're advertising two bills here in South Carolina. Um, trying to go back to the gold standard. We're advocating that. So, so if anybody wins one of these, make sure to open it up first and make sure you can spend it. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you uh, around the country, uh, you know, stop by here at Casey, South Carolina, and have breakfast with us, and I'll tell them what will happen. Mr. Danny's the, the uh, Ponzi scheme song is probably coming up soon, and we'll have his national debut here in the next week. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Gates. Very good. Very good. Uh,